Welcome guys to another profile tree tutorial. So this time we'll be looking into how to take payments on Wix. So yes, we'll go ahead and get started. Okay, so now that we've made it onto the actual site here, uh, you can enter this by going onto your actual site. So just say if you're editing your site here, So simply just go to site and then go to my dashboard. So that's how you'll be able to enter the payments area uh, if you are creating your e-commerce website. So uh, now we're back at this page, what we're gonna do is we're gonna wanna set up our payment method. So you can go here and click on it from there or we can go to the settings area here and it'll be uh, located here on the e-commerce settings. So we'll wait for that one to load. So this is where you can add all your details as well uh, for the payments. We'll actually go to it now. Uh, so apologies, uh, I was meant to say that this area here is for the e-commerce settings. This is for customizing your checkout notifications, of course, and your policies. So that's where you could view this area here. Uh, since I may as well sh uh, showed it, I'll just go with it. Uh, so um, from here, you can automatically create invoices for every new pay uh, order paid online. So that's uh, an e-commerce area there. Um, set your minimum order subtotal. So this is all to do with the payments as well. So we'll actually go on to the area we need to be, as I've said, which is accept payments. That's just all the way here. Uh, now this is a great uh, area uh, as you can see of course it gives you a few different options to allow payments or accept payments so starting off with the first one here we've got the accept credit or debit cards with Wix and that says it's recommended of course all you would need to do is click connect and it gives you the just uh, a small little policy here with the restrictions um, so of course if your site doesn't include any of this then you can go right ahead so then you would uh, connect to another provider and then you would continue or sorry uh no you uh, i do not uh so if you don't sorry then you can go ahead and continue on or if you do then you can connect with an another provider but for our instance we are meant to sorry to uh we are meant to click no so we'll wait for this to load here And then that'll add it straight away. And you'll get your tick marks and everything for your checklist, uh, as you can see. Now, there's other ways you can also accept payments, uh, such as PayPal here or manual payments. You can connect manual payment if you want to. And you can offer cash, check, um, any sort of payment, as it said there. So offline payment, manual payment, cash on delivery, anything like that. And uh, You would have to have a description on how you want your customers to pay, of course. And you can go ahead and connect that. What's great about this, of course, is this payment has no fees. So uh, Wix has nothing to do with that area. So then, of course, it allows you to upgrade to a business e-commerce plan. So all that. So now, now, as you can see, there's two payment plans already added. One where they could do direct debit or a uh, credit card or one where they would be able to do uh, manual payments and as you can see there it's also accepting Apple Pay so that's pretty cool uh, you can also choose to connect PayPal as I've said there and what's great is that we can see more online payments so there's uh, more options here so we've got pay save cash AAA ISX pay band contact uh, bankful Klarna so any of these pretty much and there's one there even for an online bank transfer and we've also got third party credit or debit card providers um, so there's a couple of different ones there where they've got stripe square bankful braintree so the list goes on pretty much just for the amount of payment options that you can uh, go through with wix and if we just go back 
Um, so we'll talk about one of them. We've got Klarna, and uh, I think to have Klarna for your e-commerce business is a great way to invite visitors to your website or um, customers. Um, as Klarna is pretty much just a uh, pay within four months, uh, zero interest free sort of ordeal. Um, so pretty much you've got four months to pay. I think it's, yeah, as it says there, you've got, uh, it allows you to accept buy now, pay later payments in four installments. So just say you purchase something within 80 pound, you could do that within two installments of 40. So something like that, or within the four months, of course, 20 pound for each month. So I think that's a pretty cool way to accept payments. Now, I don't actually fully understand how businesses like this actually make their money. Uh, so of course it doesn't affect you as an e-commerce site, you'll get the money in full from Klarna. So um, it's nothing to worry with that. So that is pretty much most of the uh, payment options. And we've even got here uh, crypto uh, and that's really uh, good as well as you're able to accept Bitcoin or of course any cryptocurrency like Dogecoin. Um, or you can probably even provide either anything sort of along that line of cryptocurrency. So it's pretty open uh, for Wix to allow all these different payment options as you can see. And they've even got one here for point of sale. So use a point of sale card reader to accept credit cards. So that, that again is good to have. So we'll actually explore some of the point of sale providers. So it says here we've got Square and we've also got SumUp. So those are the two uh, for the point of sale there. And looks like these are more or less the same ones by looking at them. So uh, here we got a banking system for European countries, it allows you to accept payment from European customers. So of course, if you are a, say you are a US business, uh, not that it should matter, it's mainly probably to do with the uh, the fees that you would have to pay for conversion. So this bank, it looks like it provides um, a Europe, uh, European payments. So it'll probably just convert the dollars to euros or Great British pounds to euros, something like that. and. Uh, like the other one there from Klarna, we've got ClearPay. ClearPay is also another, um, it's another brand or not brand, but provider that gives you uh, four months of interest-free installments. So you got a few options there as well. Uh, I don't know ClearPay myself, but I do know Klarna. Uh, We've even got something similar there, which is lay by, which allows you to accept a buy now, pay later payments in six weekly interest free installments. So a few different options there, look at that, 24 interest free installments as well. Split it. So yes, that, that pretty much uh, sums up the payment. So uh, you want to make sure that you uh, set this up so you can take all the things that you need to do for your checklist. So as you can see, I've actually ticked off the setup payment methods for this site here. Uh, so yes, that pretty much covers it. Um, if you guys have any questions regarding this video at all, uh, if you need any help with uh, locating around the payments area, uh, just leave them in the, in the comment section below. And yes, I'll see you for the next one. Thank you very much.